Welcome to Doctors of Waikiki. Here you can get a new PCP. We will take good care of you. All right, welcome back to Island Life Live. That's Dr. T shredding on the ukulele. And I, I didn't know you were actually bringing the ukulele in today. Dr. T is the founder of Doctors of Waikiki, and he joins us on the couch. Aloha, Doc. How are you? Aloha. Thank you. Thank welcome. you guys for having me. Yeah, welcome I'm happy to, to be here. So, wow, I never knew you get the, the shredding I never, ukulele I never skills. separate from the ukulele. I sleep with it. <laughs> all right, we're going, to, we're going to jam at the end. But first of all, um, you know, this is your first time in our hale over here. So what does a T stand for? Well. 30 years ago, I went to the hospital as a resident, and the nurses saw my last name, Tripkowski. They go, oh, we can't say that. You're, you're T, and then it stuck, Dr. T. So, <laughs> That's awesome. Just yeah. like Mr. T, but Dr. T. Yeah. He, get, he gets his degree of, I'm, yeah. I'm nice. I'm much nicer than Mr. T. <laughs> and how long have you been in Hawaii? 20 years. 20 years, wow, So, and you got the, the whole setup over there in Waikiki. Now, tell us um, what the difference is between primary care mm. and urgent care. So. Primary care is kind of making a strong relationship with one provider where he takes care of your chronic problems, such as hypertension, diabetes, and gout, and what have you, and they help a lot with preventative medicine. Mm -hmm. Urgent care is like you got a cold, you got a cut, you fell down, broke your hand, what have you, get in, get seen right away. Gotcha. The beautiful thing we're doing at Doctors of Waikiki is we're doing both. Primary care we're doing every day between 12 and 8 p.m., so we can capture people that before they go to work or after they come off of work, servicing the Waikiki area and, and anywhere in Hawaii, but Waikiki because there's 30, 40,000 residents on trip. top of about 100, yeah, about 100,000, I think, employees in mm -hmm. Waikiki. So this way we have access to getting instant uh, appointments for primary care. And then urgent care still is every day, 12, uh, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Every day. I like that. So if somebody's having, you know, having some sort of issue as they're driving to Waikiki, they can come see you guys. Do you yeah. have to? You got to make an appointment. No, of course. not for urgent care. They can just walk right in. For primary care, you make an appointment. Okay, so you're an expert when dealing with health health insurance companies. Correct. In, we, in the islands. So. Exactly. We take all insurance. Okay. Even we take Medicaid. Oh. Aloha Care. All insurances locally, yes, is there and out, out, of, out of Hawaii as well. Oh, okay. Also, oh, um, like Japanese. Because we see a lot of tourists still, yeah. Like Japanese visitors? Some now, not as more as before, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. still see a lot of Australians, New Zealanders, and from out Canada. And we still see a lot of Japanese, but nothing like it was uh, before COVID. And you guys can <laughs> process those, uh, the, the, our malihini, our visitors, through you guys? Uh, yes, doctors of we can do well. it all. We still have multilingual staff. We still can do all the services that we provide, from x-rays to laceration repair, everything. You name it, we can do it. Now, and I saw that whole list on your guys' website. You guys, yeah, you guys cover a whole bunch of stuff. Now, is there anything, um, like say for instance, if somebody's going to your clinic who works in Waikiki and hasn't uh, visited you guys before, is there something they should know about insurance before they see Just you guys? Just bring their ID and their insurance, as long as it's up to date. No problem. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so no problem. problem. Doctor, see, you get plenty of aloha. <laughs> Not only he jammed the ukulele for us, but he get plenty of aloha for us, us local people as well. Now, you have a new program called Ask Dr. T. Yes. And we we can ask uh, our viewers to send in some questions. We got a couple. Yeah. We got a couple I'm questions. Ready. Okay, so, Go for it. so this is the first one. Asking for a friend, Mele, not me. Okay, the first one, someone asked, I noticed a rash on my leg. How long should I wait before seeing, come to see you, Dr. T? Well. What kind of rash? Is it an itchy rash? Is it a blisters? Again, I not, it's not for me. A lot I, of guys will say, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people. Show Nina girls just wants to Don't show me, don't show me. Don't show me. A lot of people will say it's their leg, but it's a much higher sometimes right. than the leg. Because <laughs> they don't want to tell the nurse. Right. right. They just want to come in the room and, and show of, you. Exactly. They want to show me. And then I'll look and say, okay, that's not your leg. <laughs> that's somewhere else. But yeah. I mean, rashes, most of the time, if they're itchy, it's related to either contact allergy or something you've eaten or some kind of allergy to medicine or what have you. Uh, Non-itchy rashes can mean lots of things. Sometimes painful rash, mm. which is common, people might have seen this, is the shingles rash. Oh, yeah. You know, it's one-sided, it's got little blisters, but it hurts. It's not itchy. So that's, you know, a good way of identifying without even looking at it. You can tell by asking somebody. But yeah, there's so many different things that can cause rashes. And, and I'm sure I'm sure you're an expert on every single rash. We can come in and you can uh, identify pretty much, you got it. If not, <laughs> I'll, if not, I'll take a biopsy and I'll tell you for sure what it is. Okay. Stop <laughs> clapping, <laughs> Mele Apana. This, this not question is not for me. And you know this next one is not for me either. So oh, this, this one okay. viewer said, I'm 44 years old because I'm much younger than that. Mm. How often should I get a physical and can doctors of Waikiki help me with it? Yeah, 40. 44, 45? 44 years old. Yeah, they should. I 
they should come in once a year, get a checkup, get lab work, make sure everything's going well. And then primary care, we can set them up. If they haven't had their colonoscopy, get colonoscopy, set them up for mammograms, depending on if it's a male or it's a male. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not me though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's time to get all, all my personal okay. questions answered from you, Dr. T. labs. <laughs> make sure if they're diabetic, get all their things up to date. But yeah, there's so many things to do. At that age group, it's a good time to start, and you should start maybe even sooner, but it's not, it's not a, too late of a time to start seeing a primary care doctor, getting your checkups once a year, so we can prevent a major illness. Absolutely. I don't yeah. know how many times I've had people that didn't even know they had hypertension, didn't even know they had diabetes, and then changed their life. Because if you don't address those things early on, they'll have problems. It'll affect their longevity, it'll affect their quality of life. All right. So we what gotta, we do is very important. We gotta get in to see Dr. T That's as, right. as Come soon on as possible. In. Again, all types of insurances, just call them. The, the number is on your screen, or you can uh, check out their website, doctorsofwaikiki.com. Dr. T, can you sing us out to- You got uh, it. We're gonna go send things over to Daniel go. For, for traffic, but go ahead and play something for us real quick. Yeah. Welcome to Doctors of Waikiki. There you'll meet Dr. T. All right. And he will take good care of you. All right. Thank you, Dr. T. And thanks for being on the Thank show. You. Aloha. Let's sing